Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to make an enemy follow a path using Cinemachine. In the end of this video you will have an enemy which follows a path of which you have full control of. The first thing you want to do is importing Cinemachine. To do that, go into your package manager, select Unity Registry, search for Cinemachine and install it. Now create an empty game object which will be the path the enemy will follow. To create that path, add a Cinemachine path component. The path is visualized by this green line. You can change its appearance here under appearance. Here under path details you can see the waypoints. You can change the position of the waypoints as you like. If you want to add a new waypoint just click on the plus. To smooth out your path you can play around with the tangent setting. When you press looped your path will loop and join the end of the path. Ok now you have a path for your enemy to follow. Next you need your enemy. I want my enemy to be a flying worm which spins around like you saw in the intro. So here I have a simple model of a worm. For the animation of the worm I used animation rigging. I'm gonna do a tutorial on that topic in the future. But of course you can just add normal animations. Add a Cinemachine dolly cart to the enemy. Here you have a few settings to play around with. First set the path the enemy will follow which is the path we just created. Then you can select when the enemy is going to move. Use update for normal movement and fixed update for physics based movement. Here you have the position units and here is an explanation of what they are doing. But for our use, setting it to distance is just what we want. Next you have the speed of the enemy. I recommend setting the speed in a script, but for now just set it to thumping so that the enemy moves. And the position is the position along the path to place the enemy. If the speed is not zero, this will be updated automatically. Ok now when you press play, you have an enemy which follows a path. But the movement looks a little bit boring. Let's spice it up by going into our path again and changing the roll parameter. Now the worm rotates around and I think this looks quite good. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.